let's take a look at our channels menu now this software uses channels to create the separation so it gives us a lot of things that we can do under this menu there's a lot of power here first thing in the list is to duplicate channels I can come in here and duplicate it gives me a list. I can duplicate any one I want. So for instance, let's go ahead and duplicate the blue channel. I hit OK. And notice everything on screen is super blue because we have a second copy of our blue channel right here at the end of the list. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just come down to the bottom. I'll right click and I'll delete that channel. And then we can remove the channel. Could have did that. We could have hit Command M for that. We can apply channel. So what that means is this. We can uh, target certain things. We can put some information from one channel to the other. So our source channel would be, let's say, the red. That's the one we're going to work with. The target will be the purple. The blending is multiply. I hit go or OK. And if you notice, our purple channel has information on it now. So what we've done was we just grabbed everything on our red channel and put it on the purple channel. So we enhance that channel so we can do those kinds of things if we want. I can hit Command Z, which un which will get rid of that change that we just did. Next thing in the channels would be move away from base. Now what this will do is move things in our print order. So if I want to move away from base, I want to move the red, let's say, away from the base. I do that, I hit OK, and it moves the red one print one color over. I can come back and move away from the base again and I want to move the red again I hit OK and the red now goes over one more so what I want to do now is to go ahead and um, move toward the base so I can select that I will click here and go to red and move it back one so now we got it where we want it so now I'm gonna to go to the channels and we can enhance orange. Now what this is going to do is it's going to change our red channel itself. It's going to add information to the red channel. And what, that, what I mean by that is it's going to literally blend from the red to the gold much more so. So it'll have softer transitions and it'll extend into the gold to give a smoother transition. Um, and we can do that here. We hit enhance orange. It actually takes place. You don't really notice much because there's a little bit of that blending in here. But if I if you focus on one area, for instance, look right here. If I hit Command Z to get rid of that change, you can see it it did change a little bit. Next thing would be to generate a brown. Spot process or separation studio will actually generate really, really good browns. And I rarely, if ever, use this feature. So if you need to control a brown or a flesh tone or something like that, you might want to use this Generate Brown channel. So I'm going to go ahead and generate for you. It puts it in a print order that it's used to, uh, and you can select it and control it and do that sort of thing if you want. Like I said, I rarely, I don't think I've ever used it, uh, as a matter of fact, but it's there for you in case you feel like it. Uh, next thing would be Merge Gray. So if I merge the gray, what these do, Merge Gray, Merge Purple, and Merge Turquoise. If if you have limited space on press or you don't have a you know you got a very small press maybe a six colors and you need the extra room, we might be able to come to the channels, come here to merge that gray away. And if you watch the screen, you'll see a subtle change. But if you look over here in our list, the gray is gone. We just eliminated that color as its own screen. So what it did was it put that information on the black and the white channels. So when we go ahead and print, we we'll moves it to the the white channel. So when we go ahead and print, we'll have information there. So we can actually merge the purple, which there's nothing. In, if you look at the bottom of the screen, there's not much there. But if there was, and even if there's not, we can get rid of it and assure ourselves that we're not throwing away data. We can merge that purple. If there was any purple information, it would go on a red and a blue screen. And we got that one more. We can go to the channels menu and we can merge turquoise. And what that will do is it will get rid of the turquoise channel as its own color and apply it to the blue channel. So if you notice at the bottom of our screen, our color list has dropped significantly. Now there's no green in this image, so I could just right click on this thing and delete it. And there's very little blue. We do want to keep that blue though for this image. Alright, lastly we go to channels and we can adjust channels. 
Now what this is, this is multiple adjustments. So we can select whatever channels we want and we can either saturate them all at the same time or we can reduce the saturation all at the same time on multiple channels. Pretty good stuff. Um, I usually like the control of my individual channels from my view right menu there mostly. Uh, I don't use this all that much but it is pretty cool. Let's take a look at the proof positive menu. Now what proof positive is, it's our actual on-screen preview. So what you see there in full color is the compilation of all the separation data that shows us that full color preview. But if we wanted to eliminate one of the channels or just turn it off as a preview, we could come to the proof positive menu and say turn off the red channel for instance. And we can see what it looks like without the red or without the gold or any of the other colors. A faster way to do it would be just to right click inside this window and you get the same options. Just like that. And then again we can turn on on or off these little preview check boxes as a uh, even another way to preview data. Uh, down here is the same way. We can turn them all on by the channels menu here at the bottom. Uh, so it gives you lots of options to do the same thing, but at least all of them will allow you to preview whatever colors, all the colors, or only specific colors that you might want to work with. Be sure to watch the other videos in this how-to series.